Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I am here with a rosé. Uh, it's uh, the Carillon La Rosé, it's from the Languedoc region of France. It is 12.5% alcohol by volume, and it is $6 at Trader Joe's. Uh, so, let's go ahead and take, care, take a look at it. So first of all, screw top, plus one. Love screw tops. All right. Now, from a color standpoint, this is a very light rosé. It's not a dark, uh, dark rosé. I actually have a dark rosé that I'll be reviewing later. Um, it's actually uh, made from Pinot Noir, and that one is dark. So this one, it's on the lighter side. Um, it's, it almost has like a, like if you were to get a caramel and kind of lighten it, uh, that's the kind of like clarity that you get from it. Uh, but it does have a pink tinge and not brown, so that's nice. Uh, good transparency and no cloudiness, no artifacts, that's good. Uh, oh, I should probably put the bottle around so you can see which one it is. Yeah. Uh, from a nose standpoint, oh, uh, I'm getting a lot of, it smells like strawberry and peach. It's very interesting, and that wasn't the nose making me do that. I have like a little chest thing going on here, which is why it's also sounding a little bit deeper and raspy. How you doing? But yeah, no speech. I can actually get a hint of the acid coming off of it. Uh, so strawberry and peach are, are the definite notes here. Uh, it, it has this it has another consistency, you know, like a, a um, like a floral, but it's not a rose. It's Almost like a dan, like a not dandelion. What was I thinking? Uh, tulip. It kind of smells like tulips. Yeah, like, uh, but it's very hint aromatic note of it. Um, all right. So from a taste, it actually has a buttery consistency to it. That's not what I was expecting at all. Um, that is light, and uh, I mean, maybe consistency is in it. Uh, it has a buttery flavor to it. Actually, has a little bit of what, what it almost feels like. It has like a degree of malolactic fermentation in it, um, because it does have kind of that savory element to it. Now, it also is very floral on the palate. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't ever tasted a tulip. I've only smelled them. So it, I could be wrong about that in terms of how it presents itself. But there is that flowery element. The strawberry is definitely there. Uh, and the peach kind of comes out a tiny bit in the finish. Um, I'm very, this is a very interesting wine. Uh, I've, I picked this up wondering if it would be any good. And to be honest, it's not what I expected. It, 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 but it's not in a bad way. It's actually in a good way. It's not what I expected. I expected it to be uh, a little bit lighter. It has a little bit more of a body to it. Uh, I expected it to, um, well, have a screw top because I, I knew it when I bought it. Um, but I expected it to have more of those floor elements. And while they're there, the fruit is actually pretty present in it as well. And at $6, it's not bad. I'm going to give this a good. I'm, I'm, I like this one. Um, this is, this is not a bad wine for six bucks. So if you're ever near Trader Joe's, go by and pick it up. Uh, it's it's definitely a wine that I, I would pick up again if I'm in the area, especially at a $6 rate. That's, that's some good drinks right there. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the, the Carry On La Rosé from Langue de Lac, France? I'd be interested to know if you have, uh, or are there other rosés that are around this price point or within the $15 range uh, that I should be trying as well that have knocked your socks off? Let me know. Uh, also, if they've, you've had ones that just really suck and you want to torture me on my channel, let me know. Just don't tell me it's bad, and then you'll get a genuine reaction out of me. Anyway, I'll see you guys again soon with another episode. Have a good one. In the meantime, I'm going to go have some rosé. And, well, it's not day anymore. Is rosé all night a thing? Rosé all night? I think I'm not going to make it a thing tonight. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.